Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Man, I've been to Waynesboro and back, and I am tired. You know, it was funny because E2 Blue said, man, I've never seen somebody move as round as much as you do. It's like you never stop. And um, he said, especially a guy that's over 50. Yes, I'm bold. I am really that old. But there's a reason behind it because once I stop moving, it's hard for me to get started again. After sitting in the car for the last two and a half hours, it's like my legs don't want to work. And so it takes me a while to get started again. But once I'm going, oh crap, left my wallet in the car. I'll catch up with you, Mike. Ah, oh, boy. See, when you're old, you get forgetful. But it takes me a while to get started, so I try and keep moving. As long as I'm moving, I'm great. And as long as people don't run me over like this person right here, we'd be good to go. Well, we got some news here, guys. Zeke Elliott is a little bit banged up. He's got uh, a sore ankle and a sore knee, but he should be okay because he's a competitor. But what's amazing is he is kicking butt in the... Uh, rushing department he is literally almost 100 yards ahead of the next guy Todd Gurley and Gurley has had six more um, rushes than Zeke so that's kind of amazing in itself what's even more amazing is in his career right now he's averaging more per game than Jim Brown let me say, say that again Hall of Famer Jim Brown, he's averaging more per game than him. That speaks volumes for the guy. And we need to continue to run the ball. I'm not saying run him to 2,000 yards, but you got to understand that everything in our offense is predicated on him getting the ball. It opens it up for everybody else. Great news, I got to tell you, I need to get on the paleo diet. David Irving who's been working out for three weeks with the team, is down to 290. He's not a fat ass like me anymore. He's in shape, and tomorrow he starts working out. So the question is, who's going to get cut to give him a roster space for him? Could it be that this is the end of Terrence Williams? Because Terrence Williams be the guy that gets cut. So David Irvin comes back. And I got to tell you, this will be a great thing because to get a David Irving, hopefully in shape, ready to rock and roll and prove something, to get him back at this time of year is one hell of a plus when you think about where other teams are losing guys left and right. So that's the news we got. I've got a real interesting piece that I can't, actually two different ones, two pieces that I want to bring to you guys when I get back to... Uh, the man cave right now i gotta go do some shopping here real quick but we'll be live streaming at nine o'clock eastern be sure to tune in oh boy it'll be fun to talk about a victory i'm mark holmes and i'll see you guys soon i don't know where michael went hopefully i can find him get what we need and get going see you soon